Hi, I am Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach. And in this little application, I'll show you how I solved a little problem I had with MVVM Lite and the EOC container, the inverse of control container that comes along with it. And that EOC container is simple EOC. So the problem I stumbled over was that I had a list and I needed to uh, new a new add a new item every time to it. So in this case, hello world adds perfectly, works intended. So let's add hello Mars as well, because Elon Musk just passed with his car Mars. And now you see a problem because the item has a name, hello Mars, and a unique identifier, but the hello world had the same and it changed. It is also now a hello Mars with the same unique identifier. So this item and this item are one and the same. So why is that? Well, whenever you call uh, from the uh, service locator uh, class, it is being returned as a simpleton. So simpleton means actually you put in a class and every time you ask for it, you'll get the same class again. So it's like a static. Well, that's an interesting way to describe it. Um, so that's what's happening over here. So this needs to be changed. And I was looking on the internet uh, for all kinds of solutions. I saw all kinds of people have running in the same problem, uh, all kinds of difficult workarounds that worked more or less. And I thought, well, maybe the flaw is in the simple EOC, the inversion of control container, and not in the uh, code itself. Or actually the, uh, the, the, the options that this EOC container has. So I decided to look around for another container. Found one of course. And that worked perfectly. So the one that I found was Unity. So if you want to add it to your project. Simply go to the Nuket package manager. Go to browse. Type Unity. You get a whole. Oh. Nitty. Unity. Type it and you'll find this one. Microsoft Practices Unity. Uh, I already installed it, so I'll let you do that. It'll take you about a minute, depending on the uh, speed of your machine. And then, of course, you have to enter it. So the first step is to get that Unity package. We have done that. Second step is to actually create an instance of the container and then transform it in something that the service locator of Microsoft can eat. In this case, the Unity Service Locator. So this Service Unity Locator is replacing the simple EOC. And we're almost done. So now the only thing is what that needs to happen is that and we don't, oh, by the way, we don't need a lifetime manager for this project. So I left it out to make it simple. Um, these needs to be added out. And we need something with Unity container, starting with Unity container. So I, of course, have prepared that for the speed. And that's in this case, we register a singleton because that's an option that this um, framework has. And that's, of course, the list. It's supposed to be a singleton. So let's turn them around for clarity. And then the other one is just register as a type. So this actually is the same as here but in this case by default it is not registered as a singleton but as a providing a new instance of the class every time so let's do that in the other piece of the code as well uh, this is the design time code so i can see what i'm doing and this is the runtime code so again just the same and again let's just quickly turn this around so you can see that these are the same and these are more or less the same okay so just change the container was easy that's all we have to do so we can start a project again Every, all the other pieces of the code will just stay the same that's the beauty of the service locator uh, it, it just takes another unity uh, another container and puts it in there and then 
the code doesn't change. So now let's see if the behavior changes. So hello world. Add. Hello world. Hello Mars. Done. Works like a charm. Easy to do. And I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun with all the extra options that Unity is going to give me. Thanks for watching.